See that right there? What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Fishing. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I'm being very animated here today, but it's because I'm excited. I'm, I have one of the owners from the real hooker bait and tackle here on the boat with me, despite having boat problems, you know, we're still having fun, we're still catching fish. We got a bunch of sea trout, some snooks, so uh, stay tuned. We're gonna talk to him in a little while and uh, we're just out here having fun, enjoying life because we're in the most beautiful place in the world out here in Flamingo, and we're slaying it up. So guys, hit subscribe, turn your notification bell on right now because you don't wanna miss any upcoming episodes and you definitely don't wanna miss this. So, so watch the whole video. I love you guys, stay up. What do we got? Little sea trout. You go home, you grow bigger, so one day I can come back and eat you. There's a hole right here. Yeah, it seems like it's right here. So let's see. Yep, right there. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Fish 30, baby. Oh, quarter inch short, man. Story of my life. This channel is for fishing enthusiasts and people who just love getting outdoors. So if that's what you're into, make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now. Today, we're out in Flamingo doing some flats fishing for snook and sea trout. All right, boys and girls, let me tap this because we got the first fish of the day. Well, this cashing rod is beast. Hey, this is a nice snook. That's a nice snook. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, you want to help land that? Right there. I knew there was a fish in here somewhere. There it is. First fish of the day, guys. Chilling here with Phil, real hooker bait and tackle. You know what? We're just out here enjoying life today. Yep. There you go. No. Is it? What we got here? Little snook, right? Little snook. Get him on the boat. Another snook. Thank you, baby. Our main target for today was to catch sea trout, but we got to Flamingo towards the beginning of the outgoing tide. So I decided to get into this little skinny trench that I could get my boat into to try and flip for some snook. And I was able to hook onto a couple, but now it's time to head out to the flats. We're looking for these little patches of grass in about three and a half to four feet of water so we can start targeting some sea trout. Man, y'all saw me using this Saltus back bay on this cash and icon on the bridge. Now we're out in the flats and I'm putting it to work. So let's cast it out. Got a pink, pink little shrimp jig on here, shrimp lure. It's a thumper shrimp. And let's see if we can get some bites. The action on this rod is incredible. Oh, I just got picked up. Um, Come on, something. Little, little Jack Creval. Jack and Creval. Jack and Creval. Yes, sir. No, oh, it's decent. Heck yeah. All right, so it's starting now. Yeah. Yeah, that was little, little. Yeah, we came early. 
some would say we came too fast. <laughs> Meaning punctuality, time. Y'all need to get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, we're right here at the boat. <laughs> Another one. Oh, you're chunky. But you're just under 15, so I can't keep you. Back in the water. I watched them hit right at the boat as I'm lifting the lure out of the water. You're using the Monster 3X, right? And if I am uh, correct about this, you are going to be carrying Monster 3X soon? Guys, Monster 3X lures. My favorite snook lure of all time. Obviously there's other lures and stuff I use as well, but just something about those Monster 3X, the way they move in the water. Mm. They're in here. They are in here. Another trout. When did you start fishing, bro? When did I start fishing? Yeah. I mean, I fished a lot when I was a little kid, trolling and stuff for mahi with my dad. But honestly, I didn't pick it up until woo, I started working with Mike. And I realized, you know what? I missed this. And from there, it just, you know, I, I wanted to hone in on everything I could catch. This is pretty much one of the fishing capitals of the world, you know? It is insanely, insanely good for anything. Yeah, you can always catch something in Miami. I mean, if you're not careful, maybe an STD or two. <laughs> but you know, we're, we're past those days. Oh, born and raised in Cutler Ridge, man, Cutler Bay. I was going to Black Point since I was little, man. All those rocks that I used to fish, the jetty and stuff. It was good times. Fishing was better back then? It was less overfished. That Cuban invasion hadn't happened yet. <laughs> First uh, cast with this uh, Tatula. It's a nice trout. That looks like a decent one. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Oh, no, stay away. You made me lose my lure, you jackass. You jackass Creval. Little guy. Oh no, he's got it, it's in his mouth, sweet. Wonder what's ahead of us out here. Actually looks pretty good there. We're like right in the middle of all of this. Oh, don't be another jack. Nope, you're not a jack. Yeah. Fish after fish after fish after fish. We just need some that are a dish after dish after dish after dish. Let's see. Oh, I'm on again. This is three casts in a row. Ooh, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. Straight to the boat. Beautiful, beautiful fish. What if we face this way with the trolling motor? Ooh. Jack, double up. That's definitely not. Oh. What is that? That's a big one. Oh. Oh. It's definitely a keeper. Yeah, baby. Are we in the meat? Oh, yeah. No. Nah. Eh. That was a small one, guys. That was. It was very small. At least you can admit it. <laughs> I appreciate you taking me out there, man. I appreciate you coming out and helping out, man. Because, uh, like I said, all of this for me is, woo, busting ass. No, nah, it's a learning experience, too. The, Both the, of us, too, the, right? Because we get to share different strategies. Yeah, I took him in a spot fishing for snook. He knows the spot for the trout, and, 
you know. And at the end of the day, we're catching a bunch of fish. Ooh! Oh, it's a little one. It spit it, it spit it. I think it was a ladyfish. I'm gonna say it was. <laughs> You're the ladyfish, bro. Yep. We got two wild and crazy guys. The ladies can't resist our worms. My case is the monster. Yeah, the ladies can't resist his monster. They can't resist my three inches. So, oh, nice. Right there at the right. boat. Right at the boat. Yeah. Close as it gets to a largemouth bass. Yeah, these are saltwater largemouths. Yeah, exactly <laughs> Why'd you get into doing like the bait and tackle stuff, man? I, you know, I came from the propane industry and I've been fishing for 30, 35 years. Yeah. And when I came to South Florida, I, I just got to see the treatment and the service people would get at the stores. Yeah. When they would go ask for bait or want to buy tackle at a store. Nobody would teach you, you would have to kind of figure it out on your own. Uh huh. And then I saw the opportunity in service, right? I'm not selling anything different than anybody else. Everybody sells the same thing. Yeah. The only thing that I bring to the industry is service. Getting people right, being honest with them, and mm -hmm. good prices. And I saw the opportunity, and I think we're making a change here in South Florida. Nice, nice. Thanks to you, thanks to, to the entire team and all the help we've gotten from everybody. Definitely been in business for about a year and doing, doing, well. We're doing well. Definitely made a name for yourself. I appreciate it. What got you into doing videos? Videos? Man, I literally was working with rappers. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Yep. That's awesome. Back in the day, and we were going to the performing. I started managing them and stuff, and we paid for a full video shoot. And the guy kind of disappeared on us. Yeah, at, with the money and everything. So I tracked him down. I got the footage that he filmed, yeah. And I ended up having a camcorder and finished filming the video myself and realized I actually enjoyed doing it. Wow. So, yeah, from there, just one thing led to another. Started doing photo shoots with models, and I've been all over the place, man. Nah. <laughs> that, <laughs> the new wife doesn't know about that one. <laughs> Sorry, babe. But it was good times. Oh, right there at the boat. Right there at the boat. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Woo! That's the one I came here for. Come here, baby. Ooh. There it is. There you stay still. Look at that. That's definitely dinner right there. Nice. Nice. In the meat. Into the back of it. All right, my tripod's messed up, so I, I can't film and do everything, but I'm getting some fillets done. And I'm gonna cook this in a little while. This is why a lot of people don't like sea trout. See the worms? And look at this one right here. That actually looks like a sperm. Sperm worm. See that right there? That is in the sea trout. So some sea trouts have these worms. I think they're called spaghetti worms, but they're basically the larval stages of a tapeworm, but it can only grow to maturity inside sharks. So it can't survive inside humans, uh, even if you eat them raw. But I don't like the way they look. They don't seem appetizing to me. So I'm gonna cut these worms out and just use the chunks of meat that are good and then I'm gonna film my daughter when I let her know what was in the food she just ate. All right guys, here's my fillets. I used the pieces that do not have the, uh, the worms in them. Um, there weren't that many, it was just that one, that one fish that actually had them, the rest of them were actually worm free. So being the good dad that I am, because I'm a DILF, damn, I love fishing. If you want to buy that shirt, you can go to CEOfishing.com and buy it. But 
Since I'm a good dad, I sent the video of the worms in them fish to my daughter after we ate to see her reaction. I freaking ate that, you stupid. <laughs> that looks like a freaking sperm egg, bruh. It's, it's tape worms. Ew! I did not eat that! <laughs> no, I didn't! Obviously, I didn't cook the worms, and I didn't feed her the fish that had the worms in it. But her thinking she ate the worms was priceless. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn your notification bell on right now. And uh, until next time, keep your head up, keep moving forward in tight lines. Zzz.